Caroline Conan joins us out of Paris. What are we looking at today, Caroline? It seems like we are quite close um, to getting a name for a new prime minister, at least before Wednesday. Uh, that's what the Elysee Palace uh, is saying at the moment. And as you mentioned, Emmanuel Macron is meeting today with two very key figures, one from the center left, Bernard Cazeneuve, who actually uh, decided to split uh, from the far left quite early on, even before the snap elections back in 2022, during the last presidential election. So clearly, a centre-left figure and another centre-right personality, Xavier Bertrand, who clashes a lot with Marine Le Pen in his region in the north of France, where he's a president of the region. So quite two interesting figures. He's also meeting Emmanuel Macron with um, seeking advice from two former presidents from both sides of the political spectrum uh, today. He's meeting first with François Hollande, a former socialist president later this morning, and then with Nicolas Sarkozy, who actually disagrees uh, with the option of Bernard Cazeneuve as a solution uh, to uh, this chaos that we've seen for the last two months. So if it ends up being Bernard Cazeneuve, what do we know about him? We know he was a uh, first European minister, then budget minister, then interior minister under François Hollande. He was, for example, interior minister during the terrorist attacks of 2015, so uh, quite present in the media at that time. And then he was prime minister towards the end of uh, François Hollande's legislature, uh, just before Emmanuel Macron uh, was elected in the first place. So we'll see if we see some white smoke uh, later today at the Elysee. Otherwise, it's probably going to be, hopefully, by tonight or tomorrow, but before Wednesday. White smoke at the Elysee. I, I love that, Caroline. Walk us through, though, just how much pushback some of these could get. You kind of walked us through the timeline there. They're also kind of staring at a, a budget, a looming budget deadline with the EU. Just how quickly and how speedily cause can these next 48 hours go? And then the budget negotiations off of that. That's right. So uh, clearly there is huge divisions in the left wing between those who want to split from the far left, which includes Bernard Cazeneuve, and those who actually don't want to break anything of the new popular front and want to implement the full program. Clearly, if it is Bernard Cazeneuve, it's not going to be the full program of the new popular front. The uh, question is, what kind of costly measures is he going to keep in the next budget, which he has to present uh, over the next few weeks? The deadline is October 1st. The uh, current caretaker finance ministry, led by Bruno Le Maire, has already prepared a draft budget with an overall envelope of uh, 492 billion euros, which is the same budget as the previous year. So uh, clearly uh, not including any major reforms, any major savings or new spending. So what kind of measures could Bernard Kazov or a center left keep uh, in this uh, new budget? That's a big question. He's going to name probably uh, the details of his government, the ministers, the finance minister, uh, uh, two to three days after uh, we know the final name of this uh, prime minister. Uh, the good news is that according to Banque de France, uh, the growth uh, for France in the third quarter should be actually better than the two previous quarter due to the positive impact of the Olympic Games.